even though it's originally from that steps was a, was a lot taller, it was two feet taller. Mm -hmm. That's how we got the height we needed. But look at the space that we have in here. Okay, so we've got something to show in here. We don't do these a lot. What do you think, Morgan? Is it what you expected? No, it's a lot bigger than I thought. So look at the size of these beams. I know you said we don't do it a lot, but we have done, done a lot in the past three months of these. We've done a few. We have. Mezzanines, what we call them. Now, in this particular one, it's in a garage, obviously. But a lot of these garages are extremely tall in these neighborhoods. And they've got Pointless. really high ceilings. Mm -hmm. So this client wanted to have more space up top and not get rid of the way that they can use the downstairs. This is actually going to be a, a workshop up front and uh, downstairs and up top is storage. Maybe convert it to a living area later. So they've already permitted it for basically for a living area if they want to finish it out. And the reason that especially in Stone Oak like where we are is a lot of these houses are built where the foundation has to be over in my head. Yeah, because the lot slopes so much mm -hmm. in the back that you get a really tall garage the further out that floor comes out. Mm -hmm. You have to have a ceiling over that, an eight foot ceiling to nine foot or 10 foot, and then you've got your already eight to nine feet that you've dropped on the foundation. Yeah. So what we're seeing is here is this has been stripped down to the studs in some areas, mm -hmm. and we've put in big beams. Now this was a challenge because you've got garage doors that we on wanted both to sides. Keep. And so you come on over here and Justin can show you the challenges that we faced here. Now remember these, these came up, these bars that you see here, they went up all the way 12 more, 10 more feet up into the air, 10 to 12 mm -hmm. more feet. In fact, that's what you see right here. All oh, really? of this, the all of this straps. is what was cut off. So you got a little erector set left after. But all of those came off. So when I came out here the first time, I thought, why can't we put a beam between the garage doors? Because we have one here and a double one here. And we were able to actually put this beam to cut this long span, because this is much longer. So we put this beam to cut that span. And it was really thick, really tall, as you can see, much taller. So, so we would have had to have much thicker beams or adding more on this way if we didn't have this yeah, horizontal. Yeah, if, if we'd have done this beam first, it would have mm -hmm. been even bigger than this yeah. one. It would have had to be even bigger than this one because mm -hmm. that's too long. Yeah, so, so that helped with the cost. So what we had to do was put all these types of hangers on here, Strap. crazy large hangers that carry that weight mm -hmm. on this beam. Come over here and we see we can put it into the wall. We put a pocket with studs to going down to the existing concrete. Mm -hmm. That's not a problem. And then we cut off all the garage doors and you can even see that there's the joists were, were laid out to where you can get the, uh, the motor and the brackets <laughs> right in between them. So the way we laid out all these joists was important. They've, done, they've got the wiring started and even some floor plugs. Yeah, because this for is upstairs. her. Well, I think it's for downstairs because no. this is her workshop. No, these are these are switches and lights and so forth for downstairs. Oh, okay. But upstairs, she's going to finish it out. Now, this client elected not to completely finish out this area, but we've done them where we have where we have insulation in the floor, we have sheetrock, we have lighting, and it's really up to you how you want to finish one of these out. This is going to be a workshop. Mm -hmm. But upstairs, as we go upstairs, you can see what it could be and uh, how big this area really looks from upstairs. So we can see how tall a garage is before you start modifying it. That's how tall it was, oh my this goodness. This is the floor of the house. This is mm -hmm. how high it is. So it's a little over six feet to the, uh, and then you've got a 10 foot ceiling above that, or at least a nine foot. Nine plus six, uh, you know, 15 feet maybe 16 feet, I think is what this one was. And uh, that's, that's a lot of wasted space. So this is what the garage looks like before we modify it. 
Now let's go up and see what we did to it to, from the upstairs viewpoint. First we did a, coming off the house, we did the stairs this way. I know originally we had talked about going this way, but we ended up doing it. This looks really nice. Oh yeah. Nice and wide stairs. They just continued the stairs that went down. Mm -hmm. It made sense. And you've got an eight foot ceiling up here. Even though it's originally from that steps was a, was a lot taller, it was two feet taller. Mm -hmm. That's how we got the height we needed. But look at the space that we have in here. Yeah. Now that's original garage lighting. You can see we're putting in cans. recessed cans throughout. And this can truly be a living area. Again, the client's not going to do that now, so we're going to stop our version of this at this level. Mm -hmm. We are waiting for some wonderful windows to come in, and we're going to put these windows in. It's going to make it beautiful from the yeah. front. Isn't that going to be nice? Add yeah. a bunch of light up here. Can you imagine, though, how much space was wasted before? And they got this room addition for a great cost in comparison to what it would have cost to add on to their house, add a third story. There was already a roof here. So I think this is a really successful project. I know she's very, very happy with it. And she can do whatever she wants. These are the floor plugs. Mm -hmm. Plenty of floor plugs going in for future furniture and so forth. They'll all be cut off flush with whatever flooring they decide to do later. Look, they've even got the uh, little coffer on the ceiling that you could not even see this when we were down there before. Not at all. It was so high up. So you can finish this out to uh, living room, bedroom suite, a couple of bedrooms, a game room. You could make it storage. You could make it a gym. That's like why I jump on it. I mean, you could literally put a lot of weight up here and not have a problem. You could do a pool table. And these rooms will handle it. They're, remember, when we get these floors engineered, they're for basically anything you can put inside a home. Mm -hmm. So that's all we're going to show on this one, but I would love to see one finished out. Maybe our next one will get it finished out. <laughs>